Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. I ask you a question on a cut key that I received for a A700. Sure, what kind of question did you have? So I ordered a five pin version, a five pin blank, and what, and there's apparently a bidding uh, number with this, but what was set is a six pin blank. There are a six pin key, there are six cuts on the key. Um, what I believe to be a blind code is engraved on the bow of the key, but I'm trying mm -hmm. to understand whether or not I got the right item. Okay, what, let me pull up my um, key change here. What so, is that key code you have on there? 80047. Is this for an American lock? It is, an A700. Okay. Eight hundred four seven. That was the number. Seven three one. Um, yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing that is for an American lock pin tumbler. But you're right; it does show six pins. Um. So is eight hundred forty seven a blind code? Um, meaning it's a number that's on the bow of the key, doesn't tell me the bidding, but it does when you refer to a reference document. Is that accurate? Right. So, like, when I put okay. that in, and then what were those key cuts you were just? Well, it does have 112731, and I'm unfamiliar yeah. with A700. I don't know if it's tip stopped. Um, I don't know if, you know, if, uh, you know. Uh, if one is shallow and seven is deep, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not familiar with the American system. Um, so probably, it do, okay, it doesn't really matter. So, okay. so the question really is, if we asked for a five pin and we ordered an 847, does 847 automatically mean six pin? Not automatically. And here's okay. the thing is that 847 key number, that could be, that's, I mean, that could pull up, I'm showing anything, a 4, a 5, and a 6 pin um, uh -huh. it could okay. be okay. used for. So, okay, I understand. So how would, um, how would you derive a bidding for that based on, may I give you, may I give you a, an additional part number? Sure. What does AK5W-R8 mean? <clears throat> AK5W-R8. <laughs> I know the RW is going to be a cylinder. Okay. Um, five, well, it's it's R8. What is that? It's R8. Did you say RW or R8? I thought I said R8. That's what I meant to say. If I didn't, oh, I apologize. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm sleep deprived, so it's probably, I'm sure it's me. I understand. It could be either one of us, so we'll just chalk it up to it's both of us. <laughs> <laughs> just take even blame here. Right um, that sounds like that's going to be a part or uh, an actual like cylinder. Because AK is like an all keys included sort of thing. It's like a manufacturing thing. And well, five is just going to be the the five W. Yeah, what I'm seeing on the, you know, what you folks list as the discrete job data report, it, mm -hmm. it, I mean, the blank is called out as a six pin. It's got the 847 on it, and then it has what very likely are bidding numbers next to it. Um, 
which I haven't put my caliper on this blank, 112731. Yeah, I'm quite sure that that's the bidding from uh, right. shoulder stop to mm-hmm. tip to, uh, okay, from bow to tip. So I've got to find out why there's a spec on this being a five pin key blank and not a six pin blank. But how, if I said I need 847 five pin, um, does that equate to a bidding? Does eight does 847 – you said it could be five or six pin. Um, mm-hmm. how, do you, how do you know which to use? It depends on the lock it's going to go to. Yes. Um, uh-huh. You know, because certain locks will have certain cylinders that have certain number of pins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so it all depends on needs- which – do you know by chance the lock – I know for sure it's an A700. An A700? And that's for sure a 510. Well, and it is a rekeyable. I thought some of these you could even take the cylinder out. There are some. Now, the the A700 is the actual, like, series? Yes. Or, yeah, because there's, like, an A... 706 that is yeah, a six pin tumbler. Yeah, yeah. So the A700 is the five pin version of that. Right. So so the bottom line is in order to know which 847 to get, you would then say, "Hey, I got an A700." You guys would be like, "Okay, mm-hmm. it's got to be a five pin." Okay. So right. I I understand. I think the problem is we specified A700 but they came back six pin cuts, uh six pin uh, cut keys, so I've got to go back to the to the PM and say, okay, yeah, th- these are wrong, but mm-hmm. um, do you know if an A847 for a five pin, do you know if that bidding is 11273? When I plug in that, that key number, the 847, that is what shows up as the, as the um, bidding is the cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for a five pin, is it one one two seven three? Four seven. What was it for the five pin? No. Okay, it's different. Okay, that's fine because what my logic was is, if a six pin blank will enter the cylinder itself and that it's going to hang out one position, then it doesn't mm-hmm. really matter if it's six pin blank because it's shoulder stopped. Okay, mm-hmm. it's a different bidding. I know what the situation is, and I'm going to give you like 15 high fives right now. You've been awesome. <laughs> Thank um, you. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I, I'm a door, I'm a hardware distributor. I happen to be a certified registered locksmith, and oh, cool. you know it's a, it's an evolution of learning. Um, and I thank you very much. So cool. Yeah, thank thanks. you very much. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Bye bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program.